Welcome back to Press Pause Christmas Edition. Ever wonder about your ancestors? All four of my grandparents came from Italy. I don't really know much about my great grandparents and their parents. I do know their names and the towns that they lived in, but that's about it. In the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, we have the genealogy of Jesus from both Joseph's lineage and Mary's. There are familiar names and unfamiliar names. And what is interesting is that Matthew includes the names of five women, something that was not done. Every one of these women had a unique story, just as many of the men listed. But I believe that Matthew wanted us to take note of these women. Tamar was the first woman mentioned. She was the daughter-in-law of Judah, son of Jacob. She was married to two of Judah's sons who died because of their wickedness. And she was promised to the third son, but that didn't happen. She was widowed, abandoned, and she sought justice from Judah in an immoral way. Yet Judah says of her, she is more righteous than I am. Despite her pain, her loss and sin, she was given the honor of being included in Jesus's genealogy. Rahab was a prostitute living in the city of Jericho. Because of her fear for the Lord God of Israel, she helped the spies from being captured. She and her family were then spared from death when Jericho fell. And her story demonstrates that God can redeem anyone. Her faith and her heroism placed her in the genealogy of Christ, the great, great grandmother of King David. Ro Ruth, a Moabite woman, married to an Israelite and widowed at a very young age, followed her mother-in-law Naomi back to Israel because of her love for her. She also believed in the God of Israel and because of her faithfulness to God, she was blessed with another husband, Boaz, and a son who ultimately was the great grandfather, no, who was the grandfather of King David, Bathsheba, ooh, the wife of someone else that caught the attention of King David. How could she say no to the king? Not long afterwards, she was widowed, she lost a son at birth, and suffered other personal tragedies. Her life certainly did not go according to plan, yet she was persistent and perseverant. She trusted God as to the plan of her life, and she too was included in Christ's lineage. And finally, there is Mary, a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, to whom the angel Gabriel says, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. We don't know much about Mary, other than she was young, humble, and favored of God. She was an ordinary girl living an ordinary life. But with God, no one is ordinary, especially if you are humble and faithful to him. Five unlikely women, two were Gentiles, one was an adulteress, another of questionable character, one a prostitute, yet these women became heroes because of their faith, their determination, their perseverance, and their persistence. Heroes who became a part of Christ's earthly genealogy. God has plans for you. These women did not allow their past to get in the way of what God had for them. They kept the faith despite the difficulties of life. Don't allow your past, your circumstances, to keep you from going forward. Take note of the Apostle Paul's recommendation for getting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. God's favor, it rests on unlikely characters like you and me who are faithful and obedient to him. So I encourage you to keep 
pressing on and see where God takes you. Thank you.